hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel welcome if you're new so on today's videos i will be doing my nails so i already did a peel off base coat because i don't want these nails to last on me for now so for the base for the peel off base coat what i did was i put a layer of cuticle oil and two layers of base coat but make sure that when you use your the base coat make sure that is a base coat that you will not be using for regular nails because with the cuticle oil it like mess up the base coat so just a heads up on that all right so let's get started with these nails so these are the poly gels that i will be using so yeah let's go ahead and get started with these nails so i'm gonna go ahead and glue on my nail tips Okay, so I already glue on the nail tips. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the size to my desired length. Okay, I'm gonna reshape the size. I'm gonna go ahead and take the shine of all the nails. Okay, so this is how the nails is looking so far. I'm gonna go ahead and put a layer of base coat so we could get started with our poly gel. I will only be doing white potty gel on the tip of the nail only. Okay, so I already put my bead of potty gel. So I'm going to go ahead and spread it out throughout my, the whole entire nail. Okay, so I want my ombre to stop like in the apex area. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this potty gel a little bit down so it could be lighter. So when I put the other color, it could blend in nicely. Once you feel like you like how your poly gel is looking so far, you're going to go ahead with your spatula and dip it in a little bit of alcohol and just take off that excess poly gel. Okay, so this is how the nail is looking. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the rest of the nails.
ew why are they so bulky but all right so this is how the nail are looking so i'm gonna go ahead and cure this i can't wait to shape in these nails because they looking very horrible but trust trust the process now we're just gonna go ahead and start with our cuticle area We're just going to go ahead and push it towards the cuticle area. Alright, so since this is a lot of poly gel, I'm going to go ahead and cut it in half. Make a straight line. Alright, so since I like how my cuticle area is looking on the top, I'm just going to go ahead and focus on the bottom of the nail where I want my ombre to end. So I'm just going to start pushing everything down. Alright, since I like how my nail is looking, I'm going to go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the rest of the nails. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you won't miss any of my videos. So This is how the nails are looking before shaping. I'm going to go ahead and start shaping the size and then I'm going to start with the top. Go 
ahead and start with my nail art so for my nail art i don't know what it's really called but it's like that 3d nail art effect so i'm gonna go ahead and do that so with this brush i don't really use this so i'm gonna go ahead and use this for my nail art so since i don't have hard gel i'm just gonna go ahead and use my rhinestone gel So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same nail art to the rest of the nails. second layer of this rhinestone gel to make it more thicker of the nail this is how the nail came out to be so if you're using rhinestone gel make sure you use two coats of the rhinestone gel and also if you also doing this nail art make sure that you cure in between each line that you do because it will spread all over i'm gonna go ahead and put a layer of cuticle oil Okay, so this is the end of this video if you guys really like how i did these nails and transformed them leave a comment down below and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys on my next video bye